Artificial intelligence seems to be everywhere these days and from the classroom to the, even the battlefield. And now it's coming here to Jacksonville to help keep your families safe and your home safe during hurricane season. Action News Jack's Logan McDonald has more on how the city is using AI technology to stay ahead of disasters. Extreme weather is no stranger to the Sunshine State or to Action News Jack's first alert chief meteorologist Mike Burrish. Many times we'll have a storm come through and it literally can change the way our coastline runs, the way the St. Johns River runs. A great examples just from last year, Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Nicole. The two storms came less than two months apart. We did not build as if we were going to be overlooking the ocean. This was not an area that has ever even flooded. The storms weakened before getting to Jacksonville, but the River City still saw its fair share of flooding from San Marco to Memorial Park. With dangerous flooding in St. Augustine, when a man nearly lost his life. Live wires came down during the storm and electrified the flood water that covered the streets. Action News Jax was there live as a Good Samaritan ran to flag down help. Rescue workers loaded the man in a truck and rushed him to the hospital. Now, Jacksonville is getting ahead of the danger with artificial intelligence. The city hired Toronto based Ecopia AI to map the entire landscape for stormwater mitigation. What we're doing here is creating that digital twin of what is visible from the eye and converting that, you know, the natural and built environment into a digital format. This data is really the foundation of building that stronger, more resilient future. Brandon Palin is a senior director for the company. He says without AI, mapping is labor intensive using satellite images to create the maps and information manually. As you can imagine, doing that for uh, a city the size of Jacksonville would take quite a bit of time. You'd be looking at getting data at a minimum um, two years after it was flown. AI can return accurate results almost 20 times faster. Our turnaround times for creating data sets is four weeks after we receive it. And they started just in time for hurricane season. It'll be the most accurate data we've ever been able to get our hands on as a storm is moving in. Mike Burrish called AI mapping a game changer. Our land, our coastline, even our river uh, coastline, and the uh, river banks are constantly changing. They're, they're never just staying the same because of wave action, water, heavy rain, flooding, all changes that landscape constantly. You know, years ago, it used to be lucky if we got an updated map every 15 or 20 years. So this is huge. For local coverage you can count on, Logan McDonald, Action News Jacks.